Kelly says, hi, I have four or five teams accounts for different clients as I'm a freelancer. Is there a way <laughs> to have all chats on at the same time without having to change account like Slack does? Thanks. Good old Slack. Slam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of accounts are they? Yeah. Are they working school accounts? Yeah, it just says teams. Than maybe yeah. We have questions. Are they, yeah, that's it. Are they are they own? They all own individual email, different email addresses. Because if they're all different email addresses for that account, with you know, you you get created. I've got you know multiple personalities across so many organisations, and I have to physically log out. I can't even do tenant switching, you know. So you got to physically log out and come in. And there's the difference between jumping between, federating between having different, completely different accounts, and they're all different scenarios. So I have more questions. Well, we, we've had the discussions yeah. in the past, like before the new <clears throat> team version, um, where I had different uh, browser windows open. So I was always okay. logged into the different instances yep. so you could see this. And so now, and that is um, from a productivity killer standpoint, because um, multitasking at people is a lie. It, it's, it's very difficult to be productive. <laughs> and switching between that. So now with the new teams, just being able to see at the top, like, and, I, and with a little drop down, oh, hey, my, like for me, I've got, you know, I'm in my Rencore account, but I can see that Collab Talk has a bunch of notifications and four notifications for techie gurus and two for the Microsoft, you know, guest account. You know, I can easily then see, hey, there's activity happening and switching, but it's not popping up in different areas on my screen, it's in one menu with the multiple items so that I intentionally go to the next on the list and switch my view into the, that tenant. But I know there's something sitting there waiting for me. Well, here's the hard part about the browsers. When you've got multiple browsers open, you're getting the ding, 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. You're like, which, which one was it? Which one was it? Like, you're yeah, trying to figure yeah. out where the ding, ding Little issue, from. right. Yeah. Little <laughs> issue. yeah. I, I hear ringing in my ears. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had my two extra wide monitors. And so I, I used to only have teams on my left monitor and I would split my screen and have the three different environments always open over on the left. I needed a third monitor just to have for mail. Like I lost, I lost <laughs> space, workspace. You lost one of your, lost one of your spices. Just have like multiple <laughs> devices with multiple yeah. monitors and spread it all out. Oh, no, I did the same. Yeah. You'd open up, you'd open up Edge and then you'd open up an in private and then you'd open up Chrome and then you'd open up a, you know, <laughs> incognito yeah. and then you'd exactly. open up. Yeah. So you'd yep. have, you know, all the different, different, oh, look, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good time. Like Tuesdays and PGIs when they schedule five different meetings all at the same time. Oh, yes. Oh, and you, put, oh. you can put two in oh. one browser, you can put two more in another browser, and then uh, the fifth one you can stick in your desktop client. The desktop client will only show you one. You, you I'm know, impressed that you actually that, try and go to them all. <laughs> you know, there's the joke of the, the first world problems. Then even above that, there are MVP problems. Right, <laughs> like, right. To be sure. I need to be on yeah. to keep with well, and part of what I was mentioning earlier it depends on your on the type of account too. I mean, there's a there's a big difference to teams of yes. work school account versus an MSA account. Yes, and yes. they're going back to the world of the MVP very slightly. That is all generally they want Microsoft MSA accounts, which means you have to use the Teams Classic, which means a bunch of things. Yeah. yeah. None of them pleasant. Yeah. I don't, I don't think. It. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, to, just to answer Kelly's question, make sure that they ask, they invite you in, in a very specific way. And then yes. that will make it easier to do chat. We really have to limit it down. If you're, you know, you're looking at it, it's the, instead of even doing that, you know, do you federate and get them to, you know, invite you to a team rather than, yeah. Well, that yeah, that's the big thing is, are you a guest or are you, or yes. are you in their tenant directly? Because those are two different experiences. I don't yeah. think 
like it's not set up like Slack in the same way, but the new Teams is definitely closer, kind of like Christian mentioned earlier, is now you can see kind of those alerts um, to know what's coming. But a couple of tricks, um, I put a couple of notes in the spreadsheet for you for later, but one of the tricks that I use is you can pop out a chat. And if you pop out a chat, kind of like the old Skype days, you can actually pin it to your taskbar. Um, so if you pop out a chat in any tenant, um, you just double click on it and pop it open. You can actually pin that so that then you'll get immediate notifications for that specific chat. So if you're like talking to somebody in a different place, you can actually keep that separate. Um, so I've done that quite a bit if I have very specific chats. Um, and then in addition to that, um, using profiles like we've all mentioned, I went ahead and put the link to my very old blog um, from when I set this up, but you can actually use Chrome profiles um, and you can create a Chrome profile for each login, which is what I do to keep track of all my multiple personalities. And you can determine which of those profiles has notifications enabled or disabled. So you know like which ones are going to ding and which ones aren't. And also you can, one of the little bonus tips I have in there is at the very bottom on the settings, you can decide if you leave things where they're at when you close it. Um, so I go in at the very bottom and say, leave the tabs the way that I had them when I shut the profile down so that I can just go in and pick my profile, pop it open, do the work I need to do, and then get back out. Um, and it'll keep the tabs open and you might have to re-authenticate, but it'll at least kind of keep things where you left them when you got out. Is the pop out chat only in um, new teams? Because I'm in classic teams because new teams likes to crash my whole computer once I turn my video on. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Um, and I can't pop out my chat. In here. Pop so out I'm chat here. should be a feature in classic teams, but not in for multi-tenant. Yes. For it, yeah, okay. for multi-tenant, that's only in new teams if you want to do pop out chat. Okay, good. Just want to get that clarification because I just looked at it and I can't do it that way. So. Yeah, yeah uh, that I, would I, save I, my I, life. A frustrating in the, in the, in the, the new uh, teams. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Christy. No, it's so good. <laughs> I, I, I was just saying that uh, the the yeah the authentication issue, Sharon. I mean that's so that's a it's an annoyance, but I mean you kind of again you get used to that. Hey, I again I'm I'm thankful for the level of security that things have these days, so I'm fine with it. Like always have your phone sitting right next to you. Use Authenticator, get into the yep. stuff. Um, it's better than life without it when you have to remember passwords and you're getting locked out of stuff and it's a it's a hassle. But that was until a, a, you leave your phone in the rental car <laughs> and don't get it back for five days. And even calling, even trying to contact the mobile phone company to let them know your phone has been lost. I can't log in and they want to authenticate me to log in. They want to text me. I'm like, I don't have a phone. Oh, yeah. You can't log in. All right. So call us. Great. Except I don't have a phone to call you. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, I'm just saying, but isn't this just another argument in favor of microchips in our hands? Biometrics, <laughs> baby, biometrics. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the hard uh, part about like the he Windows Hello is I've got, I think, eight different profiles on my computer. All for me, they're different clients, right? So look, having it look at my face doesn't do any good because it's the same face for all of the, the accounts. So yeah. Fun stuff.